Hey everyone, I thought um, I'll do a little video of me chopping out the um, Armour Leopard mask and show you how I go about it before I chop it because uh, I'm probably trying to buy some time. I wanted to show you um, a close-up of the details I've made. Um, the base fabric is um, a medium weight Calico and uh, I use Calico for masks because it has a really really awesome quality which is as you can see here when you stitch in many layers you get the chance to if you pull these apart on both sides right there are many layers in it but um, you see it it sort of keeps the form that you pull it into see this little arch here and this will this actually stays that way right so when you get to hang it on the wall it will look as if the muzzle sort of goes out it gives this extra 3 um, 3d effect which i really really appreciate and works so well with the masks right so um let me give you a look at the back All right this is what the back looks like in focus all right lots and lots of thread i stitch with um black bobbin thread only and so everything else you see here are the different colors um, of white and, and um, browns these are the the top threads right the edges the ends um right so back And front let's get cutting um, and I'm gonna do it in here I have the camera in my face on a tripod so <laughs> I get um, well I, uh, so I create the best view for you obviously it's um, kind of in my way but I'll try and do my best to show you exactly how I work so rough cut so I don't have all this fabric in my way okay just a quick job these are actually no fabric scissors um, just regular scissors that are really sharp probably the last pair in the house that is uh, scissors get hijacked a lot in this um, household I'm pretty sure that's with everyone who's got special scissors. They always seem to disappear. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to follow the, the threads, the ends where I have stitched. And uh, it doesn't matter when I cut some open. There will be some loose threads through here. Um, I like that. I don't mind that. And... Uh, can see here sorry I'm not in the picture I also will end up cutting these at the very end right so I'm just gonna continue cutting around the good thing is with Calico you don't necessarily need a hoop to um, stitch so if a very I don't know a, a single hair comes loose or patch comes loose that I wanted to be part of the mask I can always go back and uh, stitch little details um, into the mask so I, I, it, there is no hoop and it's okay it, it will still work without the hoop okay so I'm just gonna go around the edge and uh, See here, there's a little hair that's gone loose. I don't think it's going to matter much, <laughs> but uh, if it does bother me in the end, and I do tend to stare at my work for a while before I send them off, or before I sort of finalize the last steps, uh, I can always go back and restitch some areas. I'm 
so used to um, cutting embroidery out of my out of the base. <laughs> It may seem scary to a lot of you. It's like, oh, I'm cutting out um, my embroidery that I've spent ages on. It doesn't hurt, it's okay. See the arch, it works. And uh, let me clear the background a little. It just makes a big difference without the base on it, doesn't it? It just looks so much better. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm gonna clean the edges. Let's see, the white. I'm gonna clear that. And I'm gonna use those tiny thread scissors that I use for um, when I'm working on the machine. I'm gonna clear these. Also, what you can do is if you if you don't feel like um, going even further into the edges here, you can use sort of a black marker. Uh, and go into the whites or you can leave it as that it's totally up to you um, in this case I'm gonna not go much more further into this I know my client she they won't like because this is a commission I know she's already purchased a mask and I'm gonna leave it the same way as her other one is, so they match, right? So, like I said, I'm just gonna stare at it for a bit longer and see if it's even, like here we've got some uneven things, but I actually quite like the fact that it's not symmetrical. So, yeah, here you go. I'm gonna clean up the back, so when I send it off, it sort of looks a lot neater, neater than that. Um, and I make sure that these are sort of hidden away before I attach it to a background. All right. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. Um, if you ever stitch a mask, don't be scared to chop it out of your fabric or any piece. Actually, if you want to change the background, it's okay. If you have a lot of um, layers, they are all secured by the, you know, if you stitch over it and over it and over it and over it, it eventually won't move anymore. And don't worry about these tiny small hairs. You can go back and stitch it on later if you need to. I actually quite like the fact that there's a few sticking out. Right. So have a lovely Sunday and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.